lead to celebrity. <laughs> Woo! On tonight. Uh, so this week it was revealed that the National Trust will be offering the good people of Great Britain tours of the Big Brother house. Yeah. See, we are indeed cultured. However, in other news, Courtney put a stock cube in the kettle. <laughs> really? Uh, okay, coming up on tonight's show, we've got a remix of this. <laughs> A sample of this. I'm still getting old at Mario. It was just so hard. <gasps> <laughs> and get ready for a mashup of this. Slut. Slut? What's a slut? Don't know what a slut is. <laughs> okay, uh, so on to our esteemed panel. Our first guest is a celebrated tree surgeon. He's an agony uncle and he's an actor. But above all, he is proper buff. It's Big Brother 8's bronze medalist, Liam McGough. Our next guest is as fit as a fiddle and she doesn't half know her way around a trumpet. We call her Nat Cass. It's the wonderful Natalie Cassidy. Oh. And finally, uh, every now and then a bright star shoots through the vast sky of showbiz, but only a lucky few get to bask in her glimmering light. And that is us. We are the lucky free few. She is the jewel in the bot crown. It is the one and only, the wonderful and diamond. <laughs> Tonight's show. So, the fallout from the letters to the house continued. Charlotte especially was very emotional. Um, Liam, is it anything to do with the fact that it's the last week, do you think? Yeah, I think so, probably. She's, emotions will be running high at the moment. Uh, I think more to the point why she's so upset is probably because somebody who she's considered a closest friend in there, and Carol, recently, I guess, it was revealed that she called her a Geordie slag, which... I doubly take exception to, obviously, the implication there is that if you're a Geordie, you're, you know, less you good, you're, 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 you know, not an equal person, and, and obviously I resent that, you know, yeah. Captain Cook was a Geordie, so Australia, thanks. <laughs> um, but also, yeah, I think uh, having not getting the letter is really, really try and time for you. you it's all you think about your family when yeah. you're going to be out when you're going to meet up with them again when you're going to find out if you've done well or if you haven't done well so it means a lot so i think emotionally she's probably suffering a great deal at the moment without that i've only just realized we have a panel full of ex-housemates yeah. yeah. i'm suddenly going oh i wonder how that was the letter from home was for oh and and oh they probably all had letters from home uh, we also saw um charlotte say that she wished she'd never gone into the house um is it really that bad in there, Anne? I think by the time you get to this time, yes. You, all you can think about is getting out and trying to get out gracefully, I think. Yeah. You, but you desperately, desperately want to see your family. All of your emotions get completely supercharged by mm. this time. Uh, I think it's because you, you, are, you have been put in a goldfish bowl and you feel terribly isolated from your family and everything gets blown up out of all proportion. So, yeah, it is actually really quite... It can be quite distressing. I can't, I can't imagine what it's like. I'm quite happy to stand here and kind of talk about it every night of the week. But you, you should you've try all, it. <laughs> no. Uh, you've yeah. all been in there. So, you know, Carol made the point tonight, it's only three weeks. Yeah, but Liam, you don't, it doesn't feel what, like that. I know, like I know that's the thing. Longer. It must feel much longer than that. You genuinely were in there for much longer. So how does, how is it, how, how does it feel to you listening to someone that's only been in there for three weeks moaning about the fact that they want to leave? I think it's very difficult... I would consider myself quite a compassionate person, so it's difficult to hear yeah. however long, if they're struggling, they're struggling, yeah. it's not about the time. Obviously, I was in there 13, well not obviously, but I was in there 13 weeks and I'm, you know, I'm sure to some element that was, that was very hard, but fortunately I got me letter, so I can't relate to yeah. her. Uh, I think she's probably having a tough time, you know, she's come off Geordie Shaw, everybody loves her for being that character, yeah. she's got a massive fan base because of that. 
Then she comes on to a show like this where some of her behaviours are frowned upon and not celebrated. Yeah. I think she probably feels isolated, you know, we're both working class northeastern people to be in the company of people who are so, you know, celebrity screech of Big Brother, uh, of uh, Saved by the Bell. Yeah. You can sometimes feel less worthy of a position or a place or whatever, but she... She's Especially because it's herself. all quite new to her as well, isn't it? So I she's had seven. That she's had seven series of it, so I, I know I, she's about the nightclubs. She knows the people. She's not brand new, so I, I'm not going to give her, oh. you know, that. But I would say she she's a fragile person, and she thinks that she needs to weigh herself all the time for people to like her. Whereas <laughs> she's got these brilliant sides to her. Well, we haven't seen her doing really... that for two weeks and people still like her, so, yeah. you know, be yourself yeah, and, yeah, and you absolutely. don't have to wait it's yourself the, it's for people to stuff get that behind we like you. Of her yeah, and not the way in and stuff like that, yeah. yeah. I mean, I can't get past Carol. I've met a lot of cactuses in my life, but she's a real prick, <laughs> you know. And... <laughs> Actually, we're going to move on to Carol because she certainly didn't hold back with her assessment of Vicky tonight and Mario said that he senses a backlash may happen against her. Natalie, do you agree? I think Carol has been such an interesting housemate. I think the series wouldn't have been good without her. Um, every single night I watch, my opinion changes. One minute I hate her, the next minute I yeah. love her, and that's what makes her a great housemate. I think she's being true. Um, Sophie said today, you know, when she came in, you know, what I like about you is you've been true to yourself. And I do think she's been very, very true, and she tells people as it is. And that is Carol. But as far as Vicky's concerned, yeah. they were talking about maybe a backlash might happen against her because of what had happened with Charlotte. Do you think that is going to happen? <sighs> I've got to be honest, I was really surprised at Vicky. Really surprised. And obviously the booze didn't agree with her. Um, no. And I think, well, it's made me not like Vicky very much. Yeah. Well, how's it, made, yeah. how's it made you lot feel? Yeah, I totally agree with Carol. I think Vicky, she may go tomorrow night. Mm. Yeah. The because of, yeah, because, because of, of how she's been mm. with Charlotte. I mean, Charlotte, why, I mean, why can't she be upset? Because she didn't get it out. Yeah. She's only young. And, I mean, it is. They're all the same in the house. They're all the same. And why should they be treated any different? Yeah. Well, no, they shouldn't. They all enter you know, the same way. They should all be treated yeah. the same way in there. Um, okay, so tonight we saw uh, Big Brother's Bitch Fest. Um, <laughs> what did you think of it? Yeah, I thought it was really good. I thought uh, it was, a, I guess, a show that Louis really is the alpha male in the house, especially when an outside party, even though it's Ryland, and I'm sure they all get along with him and it's great, when any outsiders come in, you feel like they're from the outside. Mm. And he was the person that stepped forward to protect his group, to say, you know what, there's not flirting, there's not this, there's not yeah. that. For as much as he's been, as other people said, a bit of an energy sapper or a, or a mood hoover or whatever, he's, he's you know, he, he really is in, the one that cares he? about them, yeah. and I think he genuinely cares. Uh, I do, I do, and I, I find it, I don't think we've seen a lot of the mood sapping, so when people are talking about it, it's hard to believe. For me, I really, really love Louis, so, yeah. you know, I, I just think he's been brilliant, and I, all I want to say about what I've just watched is Danielle. What's she doing? <laughs> <laughs> Please, can we talk about her? What's she doing? <laughs> I don't know, it was, it was you know, very odd. You know, it was very you've odd. had your time, Mrs. You're not there anymore. Like, Louis was absolutely bang on. Well, I think it, they were obviously brought in... They were obviously brought in to try and stir up and provoke emotion, but as you said, Louis did, kind of stepped it? forward and yeah. said, hold oh, on a minute. You're outsiders yeah. now, this is our camp. What was your take on it, Anne? Well, that's exactly right. They were brought in to stir things up, yeah. and they did. And it, it, With it, each other, and then With each other, <laughs> yeah. And you start to think, well, thank goodness they are out. Right. I remember why we all wanted them out. But Louis was right, and it brought, brought out a really good part of Louis's character. That, like you said, that he was defensive of his team, and, that, um, and, and he really spoke the truth, I think. I, he was, you know, we were all rooting for him there, so it worked. Um, one other interesting theory that came up to, in tonight's show was that that Lawrence Hood mm. hoodwinked all of them. Um, Charlotte uh, and Mario think that she's smarter than she's making <laughs> out. Uh, Liam, are they losing the plot or no, is there something absolutely. in this here? Yeah, absolutely. I think she's smarter than them all put together, hands down. I think I really like her. She's been my favourite housemate. But what I've found really enjoyable to watch about her is the fact that with all of this going on around her, she's still very <laughs> demure, very polite. She, she's caring. She genuinely wants people to like her. And so she's prepared to not do things like leave her shoes around. She'll brush her teeth mm. more. She'll comb her hair a different way. Mm. She wants people to love them. And, and for that reason, I'm just drawn to her. And, and you know, I feel very... Uh, 
very passionate about her doing well and coming out of it and people seeing the real side of her. I bumped into her in, in West Hampstead one time in a charity shop. We were both popping tags. We, uh, we were getting our uh, charity shop on and I went up and tried to have a chat. I think she was a little bit frightened of us. So hopefully after this you'll know that I'm um, not a... a, a you know, a wild but, plan. But is that the that. real Lauren? You know, a game plan has been mentioned mm, about Lauren. And as you said, yeah. she's quite happy to do the things and take on board what people are yeah. saying. Don't leave your toothbrush around. Make sure you tidy up after yourself. Yeah, she's you, playing the long is, game, isn't she, she? Is she playing that I game because yeah. she wants to win it? Or is no, that, I is think, that genuinely I think she is her? Clever. She's playing the long yeah. game and she, do you, she's in nearly every shot. Whenever you see, she's always <laughs> buzzing around in the background doing oh, something. Yeah. She's just always there. And I'm just wondering whether she really isn't very clever indeed and playing the long game. Um, she's now imprinted on our psyches, very much so, and I think she could well Audience? win. Yes. Daniel, that head nod would look like you were really determined you know to talk. I have to say this, I do really like her and I haven't got a bad word, but to be honest, when you watch last year and when she was on Bit on the Side talking about people's stress sense, she was confident. She was speaking about people, and this is a different person in the house. I think. And she didn't mind about putting people down because she put me down definitely quite a lot. Not. And, I, <laughs> and you know, no, no. I think this needy thing is coming too much now. People are seeing it. She's so needy. But people when you watched it on the side last year, she was yes. not like that, and that's what's confusing me. But I do like her. She's the yeah. biggest She's game player. Very I mean, quickly. let's be honest. Watching her walk is like watching Courtney cook. It's painful. She's so, <laughs> she's making she's making herself seem so innocent that she's she is the biggest game player. She's more of a game <laughs> player than the chess champion of the world. You know what you say that about Courtney though, but at least she's now having a go. After three weeks, we've got her in the kitchen and she's having a go. Um, still to come, Lauren Harris is going to be getting her groove on in the diary room. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for it. Um, and for the very last time this series, Julie James is going to be analysing the shit out of the housemates. But before all of that, it's a double whammy of an eviction tomorrow night. Here are the details you need to save your fave. This week, Carol, Courtney, Louis, Mario and Vicky all face the public vote. Who stays, you decide. From a landline call, 090 2050 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. From a mobile, call 650 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. For Carol, add 03. For Courtney, add 05. For Louis, add 09. For Mario, add 10. For Vicky, add 13. Mobile and BT landline votes cross 35p. Other landlines may vary. Voting closes in Wednesday's eviction show. Votes cast after the lines close won't count. For full terms, go to channel5.com forward slash bbvote. Welcome back to Big Brother's Bit on the Side, where me and Abs have been putting the finishing touches to our tower cushion. Now look what you've done. You had one job to do. Who's going to clear them up now? One job. Here's an exclusive. One job! What are your plans today? Have a row. He's gonna sulk for the rest of the day. Great. And then you're gonna wake up. And have a fight what? with me. And play, play with some witch tit. <laughs> I want to play that game with Louis, don't you? Yeah! Yeah, it'd be fun. Maybe. When we see him, we can do that. Uh, OK, so she's been giving us fascinating insights into the housemates' behaviour all summer long. Now, for the last time this series, please welcome the Baroness of Body Language, the wonderful Dame Judy James. Uh, OK, so we're in the final week. Can yes. you believe it? Yes. Week and 13. How oh, sad as well. God, yeah. Are you devastated? I am devastated. More of, more weeks, please. Another well, three We can't do any more because we all need a bit of a break. Okay. All right. um, how do you think the housemates are dealing with it? Uh, really, really, really badly. Um, 
I've never seen so much in-group fighting before in a celebrity Big Brother. I mean, they're literally imploding on themselves, aren't they? The, the, mm. the main group, anyway. Uh, there are reasons for that. I think sometimes people forget that uh, success and when it gets close, so, I mean, at the moment, they're nearly fingertips on the win. Yeah. That brings its own pressures, and it's a bit like a poker player when they've got a really good hand. That's usually when they start making bad decisions because the adrenaline kicks in, mm. which can give you a physiological effect as well. Your hands can, not that I play, but your hands can start shaking. Um, so they will be under a lot of pressure, and really, intellectually, they know that all they need to do is just be quite sweet and be fun for a few days, but they're all really going into meltdown and being quite horrible, I think, to one another. Um, do you think the row showed that they were kind of near breaking point? Yeah, I mean, probably Lauren and Abs have got the best idea because they are keeping a little bit... They're very calm, isn't she, Lauren? She keeps popping up in the middle of the arguments and being very calm, um, and she's obviously going to sit it through to mm. the end. I, I think, Abs, you can kind of see that he's like that, though, but, you know, yeah. the questions have been raised as to whether, you know, is, is Lauren the real deal that we're seeing or, or is this her, her game plan? I think, I mean, watching her being assertive with Charlotte, I mean, that for me was a slightly different Lauren to the one that we've seen before. So do you think she might be holding that back to get to Friday? Yeah, and I, I, I certainly would be quite pleased, actually, if she has got this slightly more serious side. Um, strategy's great in Big Brother, and she clearly mm. has been a fan of Big Brother since whenever. So um, if she's using a strategy, and I hope she is, I think it's a very sound one. So what do you think the deep-rooted issue was with that fight? Where did it come from? Oh, my goodness. It, I mean, it went back, I think, to before they went in the house. I mean, there were some issues going on there. Uh, Charlotte, I'll start with a simple one. Um, Charlotte, because she's younger, she's got that thing that a lot of uh, young people tend to have, particularly when they've got siblings, which the main thing for them is fairness. You know, mm. everything has to be fair and evenly handed out. I think that's... Uh, is, is that not for everybody, really? Yeah. What you want, you want fairness? Yeah, I don't just, think that matters about age, does it? I well, mean, we, we don't do quite so much sulking when we get older, you know, but we're still seething <laughs> I inside. don't know, I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> but she, she will voice it, because as far as she's concerned, uh, Lauren was getting a much better deal. Um, she right. thought mistakenly that her mum had been in there and I mean clearly Charlotte's missing her mum as well mm. I think I think she was probably quite sore that Lauren didn't get quite such a hard time from Vanessa as well so it's it's almost childlike impulses kicking in and for a child that would almost be that the food wasn't being distributed fairly the love wasn't so I think she's felt that quite badly but then you've got Vicky who historically goes back to resentments about the fact I think it's the old one about actors versus reality stars she's got the generation thing kicking in so a lot a lot and of we definitely saw stuff. that come out last night didn't we oh she was very much you know you should respect me I'm 40 mm. something or other yeah um, we have seen the makeup today though so do you, do you think will this be a genuine makeup can they move on because they you know they have got on haven't they really what well, Vicky's got on with everybody in then suddenly she really doesn't get on with them. It's quite strange. Um, I think the problem with Vicky is that the group that she's in, I think, and she said this to Charlotte, she said, you've got Carol the mummy, you've got uh, Louis the daddy, and you've got Mario as your brother, and that precluded her from having any role in that group. I think she wants to be mother of that group. I think that pits her directly against Carol. But on the other hand, she also wants to be rebellious child in the group as well. She flips from quite childlike to quite maternal. It's interesting, when she was cuddled up with Charlotte, she was the one that was kind of hugging Charlotte, and Charlotte had her arm around her shoulder. So Vicky likes parent and child roles, and I think she's not going to get those. So it could run till the end of the season, I think. Um, in the in the task tonight, when Riley went into the house, we saw we talked about Louis and how kind of defensive he got of the whole group and how he really kind of came into that alpha role. But he did say, you know, there are no groups in here, there is no separation. But the separation is quite obvious, isn't it? Oh yeah, I mean, Courtney spotted it a few days ago. I mean, a couple <coughs> of days ago, she was saying they've got their own group, you know, which was and, and that just left her really with Lauren. And she was really cute as well because the minute she spotted that, she she started to enlist abs. Do you remember in their group and. Mm. She uses this technique where she goes around with a script and she says, you're just like me, you know, and I want to learn from you. I mean, Abs taught her how to look at moth tongues for about three hours, but, you know, she hung on in there politely. So she very much feels that, and I think that group does resent it. But she's been quite busy. She's been trying to enlist Carol as well, which I think got Charlotte's back up. So, but it's a very strong group, even though they all seem to hate one another. Mm. I kind of like that about Courtney, that, you know, she, she's quite happy to sit with Carol and say, no, come on, tell me, tell me what you think, be honest mm. with me, 
uh, teach me if you can. You know, she. Yeah. Whereas uh, I th would imagine a lot of people would just be like, whoa, and yeah. kind of, I'm not even going to go there. But she's very welcoming of whatever Carol wants to throw at her, isn't she? Yeah, she kind of, any criticism she gets, she, she'll go for a minute and then suddenly, okay, I can sort this one out. Yeah. I, I, do, I loved it with Carol, though, when she was saying, you and I are so similar. And I thought, there's not one atom in your bodies that's even remotely similar. Do you think she means it. by that, though, the fact that she has an older partner and Carol has a younger partner? Partner, so the age difference. I think it went back in their relationship. I think it went back to Carol's marriage to Chris, where Chris was the star and Carol was the unknown. I think she may have even heard that story. I don't know, but she's always pretty spot on with that stuff. Okay, and we, um, Carol tonight, we've seen her say that she can't stand Louis. Yes. What's that about? Car Carol says that Did about that everybody. surprise you at all? I, I think what we're not really seeing with Louis, and it doesn't often leap off the screen, but we keep hearing about it, is that he's very moody, and I think we mm. tend to see the up. Louis, or we see the wise Louis. I don't think we've seen the moody Louis, and I think that's what's getting up Carol's nose. But Carol's alpha in that group. She will sound off about everybody in that group. The big thing is, there's nobody attacking that group. They're not under any threat yeah. from the other group. Uh, they're only under threat from themselves. So she's quite a laid-back alpha, and that means that, you know, she can be rude about anybody in that group. I think that's causing a lot of the problems in that group, because they're all copying her. But at the same time, it's quite a good sign for her, because she hasn't got to defend them or be even particularly loyal to them. Um, I kind of see similarities between the two of them, though, because they are both very strong individuals. They're very direct. They're very honest with their opinions. There's yeah. no holding back with them. Do you think they're very wary of going at it with each other? Because if they did, it would be explosive and nobody would probably really want to see that on TV. Yeah, I mean, we haven't really seen Carol... Um bear her claws yet, have we? I mean, I don't think we want to. She, she speaks her mind, but we haven't seen her get angry. We've seen Louis have little explosions, but it's not been anything too serious. But I think you're absolutely right. That would be, that would be the big fight if those two got together. And I think the rest of that group would probably do everything to prevent it happening. But surely they're too savvy. Too media savvy to go there, right? Well, I hope they are. They seem to know the parameters. They seem to be very, very good at insulting one another quite deeply, but without it really turning but into with a mystical. smile on their face. Yeah, it's like, oh, that's fine. <laughs> you know, I can cope with that one. Um, but you know, they might overstep. I mean, don't underestimate the pressure that are going to be going through over the next few days. Okay, and very quickly, who do you think out of all of them wants to win the most? There's been a lot of talk in tonight's show about they really want to win. They really want to win. Who really wants to win? Every single one of them, for a start. Um, but I would say, particularly, obviously. Lauren, um, I would say Charlotte and Carol. Okay. Judy James for the very last time in the series. <laughs> so to come, we'll be taking, um, we'll be talking about your five potential evictees, but now for your viewing pleasure. Lauren turns the diary room into her very own dance floor. Let the music play. Reality Banks back, 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 yeah. Hello, Lauren. Hello. It's that time of the week again. Oh. The bots viewers need entertaining. <laughs> That's it, Lauren. Get into it. <laughs> you want me to dance on the chair? Oh, I can't do that. You're terrible, you are. Why are you doing this to me? Jiggy, Lauren. I can't believe it. to work the floor, Lauren. Okay. I don't believe you're doing this to me. Oh, God. You're 
give me something for this. Lauren, you can take a seat again now. <laughs> oh, what's all that about? <sighs> Keep it real, Lauren. Keep it real. <laughs> Keep it real. Oh my God. <clears throat> Naked on a wrecking ball and licking a sledgehammer, we have been smashing it to the main show every night of the week since 2011. Pow! Pow! Oh, come on! Do you know how hard it is to say that? It's so, I don't even know what it means. That's how hard it is. Um, okay, so for two of our very lucky celebrities, they're staying in the Big Brother Hotel. is almost over. Uh, but what do our panel and audience think? In the interest of fairness, each nominee will get a whopping one minute and 30 seconds of debate, which we need tonight because Liam's on the panel. Um, <laughs> uh, when we hear this noise... Someone's got a cup of soup in the kettle. Time's up and we will move on to the next housemate. Uh, but we have time, so everybody feel free to have a little chat about anything you like. Uh, OK, so let's start first with Carol. Let's start the clock. Uh, Natalie, we've seen her say tonight she wants to finish the job, she wants to get to the final. Do you think she can? I think she certainly will get to the final, but if she wins, I think it's boring. Really? We've had a loose woman win. No, I think it's boring. She doesn't need it. She is who she is. She knows herself. She's 53. She's got a great career. I'd like to see someone else win it. So, so do you think that somebody um, like your uh, Charlotte's, Lauren's, Mario's, who are kind of just starting just starting out, or Lauren you think they think need it more than Karen. someone who has maybe been quite interesting to watch. Yeah. But that's, that's, <laughs> that, that's always the divide, isn't it? it? It's always, it, do you go for the entertaining one or do you go for the one that's more worthy or do you go for the one that's been the nicest? Or, or do you enable on... an alcoholic to continue to pour a drink down their neck and then celebrate that fact? I don't think we should, you know. <laughs> to be fair, we don't know that Carol's an alcoholic. I didn't say Carol. <laughs> But, yeah, I left it open talking, for people to That's who we're talking that, about. You know. Come on, Liam. Well, you, all right, then I, I meant Carol, but, yeah. and, and in fairness, I can't, but what I can say is from seeing her change when she has a drink on, she doesn't have a filter. She might speak her mind when she hasn't had a drink, yeah. but there's no boundaries when she has had a drink, so she says very cutting things. To so say she's boyish was very calculated, and I thought very bitter and poisonous, so... Yeah, yeah but she's interesting to watch. She's so So it's got a cup of soup in the kettle. Yeah, but so it was a robbery in first and <laughs> You don't want it to happen. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad that came on just then. Um, OK, let's move on to Courtney. Let's start the clock. Um, does she have a chance, Anne, tomorrow No, night, no, 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 no. But why not? Because there's nothing there. Is there? there really? is and there's a nothing very large celebrating. <laughs> so, somebody, somebody just said it's a very nice pair. I won't say the word you actually use, but you said there's a very nice pair of boobs. Who said that? Me. You said that. Yeah. Um, but again, it, 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 come on, it comes no. down to that thing. You know, ha she hasn't, has she really done anything No, wrong? she's not really. No, but she's not really done anything, has she? She hasn't but, really yeah, said and anything. Yeah, I suppose that's when we come back she to, doesn't seem to have what any are you interests. voting for? Are you voting for entertainment? Are you voting for but niceness? Are you, no, are you no, voting for the person that's more deserving? Well, you, or? Vote, you vote for somebody who's interested to watch and entertaining but she's not any of those things either there's just nothing there what do you guys think of Courtney yeah, maybe a bit. Yeah. guys come on what are you doing to me tonight let's go over here you're all very quiet <laughs> I think you should get her right she's she's got nothing at all apart from her boobs that's it you think she's got nothing apart from boobs you think she's done well yeah, she's done well you know like I didn't like her at the beginning but she's actually had a lot of storylines and we've seen her a lot and she hasn't done that bad, apart from the finger, you know, with Mario. She didn't small, put the boiler she's suit done right. on. She's done all right. Yeah. Go on, Natalie. Yeah. Yeah. We're forgetting about that really selfish act where she was crying yeah. over a piece of clothing. Yeah. You know, she doesn't deserve to win, truly. No. She doesn't. Does she deserve to survive tomorrow night, though? No, no, no not really. No. That told me. <laughs> Liam, what do you think? Do you think she's done anything? Has yeah, she done no. enough to stay? I think she's done what she intended to do. So I would think she's in the kettle. Um, <laughs> 
I'm like not that doing that on purpose, I promise you. That is genuinely a minute. It's going to take second. more than that. I can keep going, but <laughs> she, um, yeah, I think she's intelligent. I think she's come here with a job. She doesn't know any of these people. She's staying in England, wants to make a few pound notes. <laughs> One minute, second. Yeah. Um, uh, let's move on to Louis. Let's start the clock. Um, so, he's come this far. Does he want to win? Yes. 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 Yeah, he definitely does want to win. Why do you think so? Um, you wish you'd never said yes now, do you? No, I don't actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does, does want to win. I mean, he's doing the show bit and... Um, nice that's it, nice dancing. It's like that. Yeah. Oh, I wish you'd never oh, come to me. Uh, Natalie, what do you make I to the two him. sides of Louis? I love him. He's, he's... Both sides? We know that you, you were a well, fan of Louis. I am a fan, but we, don't, we haven't really seen the moody side, but it sounds like the other housemates have had a hard time mm. with the energy, energy sapping. So yeah. I think, you know, sometimes a show, you know, they don't show everything and they'll probably come out and watch it and watch him back and go... Oh my goodness, he looks like a totally different person, yeah. you know, yeah. which is difficult. Well, that's what we saw them see when they went into the secret room, wasn't it? That's, yeah. It's really, everybody looks so different yeah. when you watch them. Absolutely. Um, but I like him, he's just funny. He got he's a great, great reaction from the crowd, Anne, yeah. on Friday night. Do you he's think they'll be potential. behind him again tomorrow? You can imagine if he, weren't, if he wins, he, I mean, it will be a real step up to his career. You don't know what could happen next. He's got real potential. He's professional, he's trained. There's a lot, there's a lot going on there. I think he could be really, really interesting. Given that extra step up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Liam? I was going to say, Abs, if anything, or as to give him his full name, Abdominals, he, he's, uh, he's, if anything, beat a mood hoover. That quietness, I like him. I, I would probably yeah. relate to him most out of all of the housemates, but I think somebody said. So what's for the cup of soup and the kettle? <laughs> Okay, let's move on to Mario. Let's start the clock. It's his first time up for eviction this week. Do you think he's had an easy ride so far, Liam? Yeah, he's had an easy ride. I don't think he's had to do too much other than just sit around making the place look nice. You know, he's handsome, he, he's young, he's quite normal. Um, I think he's got, you know, a, a good career ahead of him. I can't see how it's been difficult for him at all, no. Do you think he's treading the fine, very careful line because he wants people to see him differently than how he's perceived? Well, he should have, but stroking that girl's house isn't going to do that. Her hand isn't going to do that. I think if he's wanting to not be a snake, then don't go and say, I wouldn't do this to anybody's wife and then touch her hand. Just don't mention it. Do you know what, though? Well, where's that noise there? I, I cannot believe the poor guy was chained to that girl and they've sat down and they've touched hands and he's getting annihilated for it. There's a difference between touching and stroking and playing. And he, he said to Charlotte, keep her away from me, keep her away from me. Yet he's sitting there stroking her hand. What does he want? To be kept away from her? Or don't stroke her hands then if you want you don't want to know. I remember being in the house. Wanted a storyline, didn't we? And he nearly got one there, didn't he? Do you I think th that's what it was? I, well, I think he's had trouble being interesting. <laughs> yeah, and maybe that was the nearest he got to being he interesting. Has, he has been quite quiet. Mm. Mm. Boring, yeah. yeah. Yes. Boring, yeah. Why well, you come to me now for him <laughs> and not for Louis? You break my heart. Someone's got a cup of something. <laughs> uh, and finally, Vicky, let's start the clock. Uh, Liam. Well, has she blown it this week with, yeah. with what happened the other night? Uh, yeah, what well, I mean, she's got drunk, she said some stupid stuff, she's embarrassed to find it out in the morning that the stuff she was saying had no point to it. Uh, has she spoiled it? Almost, but I think she could stay a little bit longer. There's still a couple of housemates to go, and, and she's yet to shine still. I think the nice thing about Vicky, and this is not siding or favouritism, she obviously got drunk. Uh-huh. She acted the way she acted, but the next morning, as you said, she woke Took up and chair. she went... Do you know what? Let, we need to sort this out. Yeah. Let's uh -huh. apologise. Yeah. And yeah. I genuinely don't think that was for the cameras. No. I think that's because yeah. yeah. you've woken yeah. up the next day, probably yeah. with a bit of a hangover. You've got that fear going on where yeah. you go, oh, I really I need to sort out. I don't forgive her for saying names to... Um, <laughs> I do think her talking to herself isn't her talking to herself. I think it's manipulating to talk to the public to try and get her point across. I, I don't think any of her talking to herself was her talking to herself. It was purely for the public's benefit. Panel? If that's true, she's left it a bit late now, hasn't she? Yes. I think no, she we did, did see her do it quite early on, though, didn't we? Yeah, yeah she did but I think it's too late now. I think tactically there's just not enough time for her to make up the damage and the negativity that there's been. 
I just think for a, an older lady, well, not old, obviously, but <laughs> for an older lady, when she did sit outside and she called Charlotte, remember a, yeah. a, a, yeah. Couple, a week ago or so, we were really having a go at Carol yeah. for calling her a Geordie slag. Yeah. She not called her a fat Geordie slag. She's got a cup of soup in the kettle. Yeah, we can't leave her out. She must also be said that what she said was wrong, but... I think she's aware that she said it under mm. the influence of alcohol. She also said the stuff, obviously, for us to all hear, but with a drink yeah. on board, it's difficult to guess at what's going to be funny. And, and she also feels very emotionally hurt that why is this person but, who behaves like and this on a getting good note, I know we've finished, but on a good note for her, I do have to say, I do feel she's been a really good housemate and very supportive yeah. of everyone. Yeah. Okay. I love how many Goodness, we need another hour with these three. Uh, still to come, we've got all the ladies from the house, and Anne is going to be trying not to shine too brightly in the camera runs. But first, the nominees are quite simply begging for your votes. Before they went into the house, they recorded these party political broadcast type things just for you. In 10 seconds, I need you to imagine that you're up for eviction and you want to save yourself. Why should you not go home? The reason I should stay in the house for a bit longer is... I don't know. I'm not there yet. Ask me when I'm there. Actually, because I don't really want to. I am a sweet person. There's more of me that you can see. Um, not physically, like banter and stuff. Um, hopefully I can make you laugh and entertain. I want to show who I am as a person. Because it's saving me money. Because you're buying my food. I don't really know. I want to make my mum and dad proud. So, just be really mean and keep me in. So keep me in. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Yay! I like it! I'll take that. Big Brother's bit on the side, where there are only... Three, three more sleeps, sleeps to go. go! Ungrateful wankers, here's today's news. <laughs> At 10.25 this morning, Lauren was getting flirtatious with Mario. <sighs> morning, sexy. You feeling today? Not too bad, you? Yeah, good. A bit exhausted from that uh, kneading yesterday. Oh, I'm still getting over it, Mario. It was just so hard. It, it was, was very hard. So very nice hard. to see you both kneading together. Yeah, oh. kneading so hard. <laughs> it was so hard. <laughs> so hard. It's very messy kneading. Very messy. Mine was so small and yours was so large. Yeah. <laughs> they look, just look so good together. Perfection. Yeah. For all our sakes, those two need to stop that right this minute. Uh, straight after that, Lauren turned the heat up a notch and went a little bit further. Go right. on then, We're darling. <laughs> Have a nibble. No, thanks. Go on, Lauren. <laughs> no, it's OK. Have a little nib. No. Just the end. Just looking at you. Just the crust. <laughs> just the crust. Look, just take a little bit off the top. Go uh, on. OK, I'll take it. brighten up your... No, you have no, to come down. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, darling. Go on. Just a little bit of crust. <laughs> Go you on, Lauren. Don't do it, Lauren. No. Go on, Lauren. Don't Carol. take any notice of her two bottles of wine. Don't take any notice of this lady. Didn't have two bottles of wine. Have a nibble. Oh, it's Go on. disgusting, this is. It's not. It's just bread, Lauren. Yeah. What would you, would you do it? You wouldn't. Carol's done a lot worse. Carol's done a lot worse. Yeah, yeah, it, worse. It, but it depends on your reputation. Lauren! 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 I'm a bad bag. <laughs> It tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> you should know you made it. <laughs> I'm blushing. Um, she's certainly aware, though, isn't she, that a firm loaf is always better than a limp biscuit. Um, at 11.14 this morning, Laura made an interesting proclamation. And I'm a slut today. I thought I'd wear a slut today. What do you think? A what? you look slut. Slut? What's a slut? Don't know what a slut is. Never heard that before. I, I know it's a person who sleeps around. No, well, you know, slutty clothes, just slut. Oh, right, yeah, so what? Yeah, just short, 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 short. Do no, it. I'm not only joking. Do <laughs> it. You might as well, it's a nice day. 
show. It's very daytime. Ooh! <laughs> I'm not wearing tights either. No, no you're not. Time. You're bare leg legged and all G stringed up. And we can see exactly where you're slicing. Why not be a slut? It's a nice day. What a lovely motto for life. And finally, at 12.40 this afternoon, Louis had a theory about Lauren's relationship with Courtney. She wants your life. You're going to take Doug next. I know, exactly. that's like stuff <laughs> She knows everything. <laughs> this is trying to get scary. I know all your history. This is getting scary, Lauren. Maybe you album. should test her, darling, to see how far she's going to go. See if she really is sucking the life out of you. No, I know it's, it's, it's all tongue-in-cheek, but there's, you know... <laughs> <laughs> That's what she wants you to think. <laughs> all I'd say is look out for Doug and Donny. She's obsessed. I know, right? Yeah, but... Um, She'd go out to see Doug if they go out on the same day and it'd be like, Lauren would be Doug. <laughs> Doug. <laughs> she would tower over Doug. Oh my God, they were so funny together. <laughs> Here comes Courtney, oh, number two. Courtney number two. Courtney number two. Courtney number two. Courtney number two. But wants to be number one. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> If Lauren ran towards Doug, he would run a green mile. And that is all of your Lauren news. Now, it's the last midweek... Now, it's the last midweek double eviction of the series tomorrow, and here are all the numbers you need to save your fave. This week, Carol, Courtney, Louis, Mario and Vicky all face the public vote. Who stays? You decide. From a landline, call 090 2050 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. From a mobile, call 650 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. For Carol, add 03. For Courtney, add 05. For Louis, add 09. For Mario, add 10. For Vicky, add 13. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 35p. Other landlines may vary. Voting closes in Wednesday's eviction show. Votes cast after the lines close won't count. For full terms, go to channel5.com forward slash bbvote. Now, I believe Anne is nicely cloaked in the camera runs. Are you there, Anne? I am, yes, yeah. There's a lot of squealing going on. I don't oh, know what there? it's about. I'm trying to Who's think, squealing? understand. Well, everybody's squealing. Carol was squealing, but now they're just putting stuff away. It's like housekeeping's going on oh, okay. at the moment. Uh, oh, yeah, no, they're all in here now. Yeah. And no, nothing particularly interesting to talk about. Is it is it harmonious or uh, are well, you feeling Yeah, no, you see, I was worried or? that it wasn't harmonious, but I think it is, actually. I think they're all right at the moment. Uh, tell you how clever Courtney was, you know, after putting the um, the cube in the uh, in, the, in kettle. the kettle. She was eating her hair by accident uh, just a few minutes ago because she was eating a bowl of cereal. She actually found that she was chewing her own hair. Pleasant. Uh, hmm. uh, Lauren's been teaching Courtney meditation in the treehouse, but as you can see, she's come down now. Okay. Louis's been talking about how his dog gets gets woken up at home by his own farts. <gasps> I know. Always um, wanted to know that. Wonderful. Yeah. And uh, Mario's been singing Lauren's song, I'm All Dressed Up, and that's been annoying Carol. But as I say, they're now getting together for a little glass of wine, so all is quite in a good mood. Well, again, if they're all right? getting together for wine, I'm yeah. surely it's about to kick <laughs> well, off. Well, yeah, a couple of glasses um, from And now. I'll leave you watching. Yes, yes, fascinating I'll stuff. see you in a bit. OK. Now, though, it's time for Didge. Ian. That's right. Firstly, can I just say it's Tuesday. I'm Ian Two, which makes this officially Ian Tuesday. What do we think? I like what you did there. Come on, audience. Can I touch it again. Here's a clap. <laughs> yeah, fine. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got some tweets of support uh, for the housemates for tomorrow going. Yeah. How long have we got? Long? Uh, about 40 seconds. Oh, great, okay. Charlotte says, saving Mario. He showed how different he is from when he's in Towie. Love the real Mario. Okay. Um, Helen Bexon says, I'm saving Louis. If for no other reason, he tells it exactly as it is. Too true, he does. Too true. Lois says, I want Courtney to stay. They've been a bit mean to her. Uh, she's sweet and the house will be more boring place without her. Okay. Um, Vicky Doherty says, I love this one. Uh, I want to say Vicky tonight because we have the same name and us Vickies stick together. <laughs> Good work. Good one. <laughs> Um, Harriet says, give Carol a break and save her. She's only been herself in here. We've got a poll on the website. Go to it, channel5.com forward slash Big Brother. It's amazing. It's for tomorrow's task. Perfect timing!
Morning. Um, yeah. That's your lot. AJ and Rylan will be back tomorrow with Luke Marston, Emma Kennedy, and Apprentice runner-up Louisa Ziesman, uh, plus your latest celebrity evictees. Have a great night. Good night.